Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna be talking about Python's built-in all method. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of how to use this method within your Python programs. In this video, we're gonna be using the Python console. If you're using PyCharm, you can go all the way down to the bottom left-hand corner and click this tab that says Python console. Open that up and you should be good to go. If you aren't using PyCharm, you can open up your terminal, type in Python, and you'll be able to run all the same things that we're running within this video. So the all method, what this is gonna do is it's gonna return either true or false, depending on whether or not the items within some iterable object are true. So when I was first learning this, that made no sense to me and I needed to see an example before I fully understood what it was doing. So if I had some list, let's just fill this up with a bunch of true values, right? So we have our list and it's stored to the variable of A. So if we used our all function, and remember, the all function is gonna return true if every item or element within that list is true. Otherwise, it'll return false. So if we run the all method on this list, we get true because every value within here is true. If I were to change this list and we had a false, right? And then if we ran the all method again, now you'll see that we get false. But where this method starts to come in handy is for values like none. If we had a none value stored within our list and we ran the all method, this would also tell us false. So there's no value associated with this. So if you had some code and it needed to have some true value within your list, otherwise it would break, you would want to check all the items within this list through the all method to make sure nothing broke. You don't have to store booleans within your list. You can also do numbers. So if we had like one, two, three, four, and five, if we ran this against the all method, we'd get true. But if we had, let's say, a zero in here, now zero is normally a false value, so this returns false. Another thing you can do with the all method is use this against dictionaries. Now, when you run the all method against a dictionary, it's only going to look at the keys, not the values. So if we had B, and we had a key of one, and let's say, it was zero. And then if we had a key of two and a value of nine. So if we ran the all method against B, you see we get true because none of our keys are false. But if I were to change B and we made, and we made two a zero and ran the all method again, you'll see now we get false. This is a very simple and useful method. As you continue programming, I'm sure you'll find tons of uses for it. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.